Hey there do it yourself technicians and welcome back to part two of the giant Bluetooth speaker we hope. If you haven't caught up with last week's episode we started to gut the inside of this work out what we needed to buy disconnect the tape deck and we also ordered a Bluetooth module and two new batteries and here to they put are. in it. Here they are here this is the Bluetooth and these are the batteries. We hope we got what we ordered. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Okay. So I think that's that's it. There it is, right there. There's a the remote. And there's the cable, so let's open this up. So, we have the module itself, that's upside down, with a scratched up screen. No, it's got plastic on it. Ah, yes, uh -huh. found it. Um, so, got to just check things. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that's my department. <laughs> yeah. These are some cables. The tech things. The cabling? Yep. Yeah. And then a remote, which is my favourite thing because you get to press all the buttons. Buttons. Thanks. Cut off with a box. That's the blade, yes. Shouldn't do that towards you. Yeah. You can put that away. Thanks. Okay. So these are the batteries on Which was something like NP124-5 or something? DM12 4.5 Okay And the originals are, are there No, they can't see that Oh <laughs> Reach <laughs> Uh, here Are they exactly the same size? Um Yep. Yes. Excellent. Woo! Put these away now. Okay. No nice packaging. Okay. That's it. So, on the inside, we took out these, um, the wireless microphone cables because we didn't need the wireless microphones anymore. Useless. Yep. And and we also cleaned up the cabling a bit yes, um, we did. Taping, taking out a lot of the cabling that the tape deck used what we were left with is two cables that one of which will be I'm assuming audio in and one is audio out because the tape deck could actually record is the only reason I can assume that there were two sets of wires and we have a nice 12 volt lead, that is really handy. Close up work requires glasses. Three sockets on the back. One, two, three. One cable with two sockets on it and a power cable. I can only assume that the double ones go in here and the single one goes there. Yes, because it's only two wires and these are both three wires. Uh -huh. The sockets that are there are left, right, and ground. And then the other three are auxiliary left, auxiliary right, and ground. Ah, the auxiliary is a separate plug-in. Okay, so you can plug your phone in another way. Correct. Okay. There's actually several modes that you can use. You can plug an SD card into this. Mm -hmm. You can plug a USB stick full of songs straight mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. And there's also a mini USB jack on the front as well. Is it Bluetooth though? <laughs> I really hope so. <laughs> because it doesn't say Bluetooth it doesn't. anywhere on the front. Uh, do Bluetooth have a, like a little... Bluetooth logo? There's definitely an antenna here. A squiggly line. Which I'm guessing will be the antenna. and Although it could also be the FM antenna. Because I believe this has FM radio as well. There's no like sync button. 
No, there's nothing on the remote that suggests it's Bluetooth. This could be a short-lived experiment. <laughs> there was no instructions in the pack, was there? I couldn't find the opening. Uh... No paperwork whatsoever. Nope. Okay. I guess we'll just see what we can it do. It says Bluetooth module. It does, <laughs> yeah. We like, sue them for bad advertising? No. Well. Okay, we have a couple of problems that we need to solve. Mm -hmm. First one is where to put it, and the second is to make sure it make it work. So, what size is it coming at, like with the window and the tape deck? I can't really see. Pretty damn similar. It is, and the board itself is slightly smaller than the faceplate. Although these um, big screws could be a pain. I wonder if we can get the window out. Take the plastic band it was holding. Like Does it just push forward? Oh. Yep. It's just sticky taped in. Okay, so we're going to have to do some physical modifications to the door. Mm -hmm. And how easy the door comes out. Frame. Yeah, we're going to have to cut it regardless. Yeah, okay. um, the good news is we've got a bit of a lip on this. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be a perfect fit. Yep. Let me take that off you. Sorry. <laughs> so this is the power cable? Yes. Can we plug that straight into there? Do we need the one it came with? Uh, I suspect that that is just a little bit too fat to go in there, which it is. Uh, that's rude. Ah, a <laughs> little bit too fat. Yep. So we'll have to solder these into there. For testing purposes, what we can do Snippity, snippity. No, I'm actually not snipping, I'm stripping. Ah, yeah. Getting more exposed to wire. So if that's a good solid twisted piece of wire, so by twisting it you just give it strength. Mm -hmm. That's the red side. No, we don't have pouches. Correct. But if we did, that would now start to think about powering up. Mm -hmm. Which would probably be something we wanted to do before we did all of the modifications. Correct. To test if that is actually Bluetooth. Yes. Okay, we've powered everything up. Let's see what happens. Turn this on. This on. There's an on off switch on the front. Did anything light up when you turn it it says hi, blue. Oh, blue? Bluetooth, that sounds like... It sounds hopeful. It does. Wait, it says O2 cab. That sounds vaguely like the model number of it. Yep, yep. O2. Okay. Connect. Okay, it's connected. Time to test the music. Um, there's no audio cables plugged into it. <laughs> <laughs> So if we press mode, it goes from blue to LOD. Would that disconnect oh, Bluetooth? Probably yes. Yes, it did. Uh, it which is now 87.8, which is radio. Oh. And then mode again, oh, maybe it's loading. Auxiliary, which is the three and a half inch. No, well, that would be big. Three and a half <laughs> millimeter. <laughs> loading. Uh, and now it says one second. Hopefully it's not a bomb. And then back to blue. Okay. Now oh, it's connected again. Ah, okay. Likes my phone. Excellent. Now, so I will double just check. double check. Yep, so turning that off turns the, off. the unit off. Even though it's still connected. Are you? Yeah, apparently. Nope, it switched off. Yeah. Just took a little while. Yep. So that works. Yes. And it's Bluetooth. Yes. <laughs> we didn't buy the wrong thing. Okay, Did there's a few things this? more we need to work out. Mm hmm Do the audio cables, the yellow ones we have, go in here, or are they also too big? That's a good question. They are too big. Are too big. So we're going to have to do the same thing with these. Oh, we didn't test the remote. Should we give that a try? If you want. 
that's on. Um, you'll need to pull the plastic tab out of the bottom so that the battery works. Whee! So that's just separating the battery from yep. the thing. So it's on Bluetooth? Yes. Okay, so do that turn off? No, but it's an infrared remote, so you're probably going to have to be... In front of it. Okay, that turned it off. Okay. And it turns it on. Uh, mode. Mode. No, there we go, loading. So loading is probably that it's looking for an SD card or a USB mm -hmm. or something like that. Radio, loading. Okay. <laughs> um, auxiliary cable, loading. Time? Yeah, that was, well, it said one second before, now it says zero seconds. Um, try volume up and down. What? what? I didn't know whether it would display something or not. No. Uh, clock. Oh, maybe that's what zero 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 is. Uh, nope, that gave me the auxiliary cable when I hit the clock button. Okay. Just try again. Yes, because it was already on clock. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's probably been turned on for a minute now. Oh, uh, yeah. Which is uh, why it's saying a minute. That would be repeat yes. RPT, wouldn't it? And then what do the numbers do? Uh, tracks. Ah, yes. And the EQ? Equalizer. So changing the bass and the Oh, yeah. And then for pause and play, obviously. Yeah. And there's also a mute button. That's handy. Which doesn't come up. I wish you had one of them. Okay, let's turn that off. Using the remote because it's fancy. Turn that off. This is just like a center permit solution, right? Okay, good. Um, Will we take the little sockety thing off and then solder them together? Or? I'll probably just cut the wire. Cut the wire? What? Cut. Oh, um, yeah, cut it off. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then solder it and yep. heat shrink it. Cool. Do we have heat shrink? Yeah, we do. Cool. All right, so everything's in. No, not everything's in. The wires that send the sound Sounds back down. down again are not plugged in. Okay. Now they're possibly. It says hi. It's on. It's okay, on. so we've got these two cables. One is record and one is playback. Absolutely no way to tell which, so we're just gonna try one. Oh. Does your laundry work? I'm guessing it's this one then. Figure out the way to tell it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Accidental figuring stuff out. Yeah. All right, let's. Have you connected? Is yes, it on? I'm yep. Good. It's those three. Okay. Yep. Just need to know which left, ground, and right. Red is right, I believe is the standard. Fair enough. Is that shocking? No, it just gave me a fright. Okay, I'm good. I think that's on. Give it a try. Yep. Won't be loud. Okay. Woo -hoo. Cool. Should I try volume on this? See if it works? Uh, yep. Yep, it actually comes up with volume. That's max. 30. 30 is max. Okay. And then, yeah, it actually shows it on the screen now. Did yep. I try mute? That mutes it. Um, nothing else to try? I'll skip. Hold on, wait, no, that'll. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me that. <laughs> no, it works. <laughs> okay, awesome. There's also a non-copyright song, so it wouldn't have mattered if the song started playing. Do you want to explain why you use non-copyright songs? So we don't get copyrighted? Okay. Well, good thought. Yeah. So, <laughs> where to next? <laughs> well, obviously we have to put it in before we start filling and plugging all the cables in properly, yes. because otherwise you have to like, get the cables through and it would be like a pretzel awkward situation going yeah. on. First thing I want to try, do you have the small screwdriver? You just put it on the cable. No, no, the really small. Oh, yeah, I do. I want to see what happens. If you screw these screws out? Yeah. Unplug that. They are really just holding the whole thing into the... Wow. What did you just do? Dropped all the buttons. Uh oh, okay, good. They're not individual. No. 
And we don't. What are they? What buttons are they? You can do fast forward and stuff. Oh, okay. I guess holding these are probably fast forward as well. So but what it was going to say to you is, see this weird looking LED type thing? Yeah. That's actually the infrared receiver. Ah, oh, for the remote. So if you see here, there's a, a circle just beside the rest of the LED lens mm -hmm. that you can't see from the outs. The thing behind I, it? I'm, oh, sorry, I've got to hold the buttons in or they'll fall out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can't see that it's there, mm -hmm. but it's a window to let the infrared through oh, to cool. the receiver. No, my question is, will this? No. No. So cutting the frame off is a necessity? Yes. So I thought if we could slide that through and then slot everything in. Back. Yep. So if, the, if we plug the auxiliary ones in, the Bluetooth will still work, won't it? Yes. So what we'll do is we'll and plug all the... all the other things all, like the USB, the... Yes. We'll plug the auxiliary into WMA or something. Yep. The mic. Yep. And then... A and B. This one will go into the... Tactic, which is the next that one. Okay. Okay. Um, yes, so with the mic plug in, we're gonna re solder these guys back with the auxiliary cable. Yep, and then just plug it in because we cut it thinking to we wouldn't need it. Mic. Yeah, Winning. we cut it thinking we wouldn't need it, but psych, we did need it. So, so we have to cut, out cut most back. of that away. Could we just. Go one, two, and three. The probably top. yes. And that would come off. Yep. And it would give us enough room by miles. Yep. We will probably use a rotary tool, often known as a Dremel. Ah yes, I have seen those. Right. Okay. Right. Let's go outside. Okay, so we're here in the outdoor workshop. <laughs> Somebody's standing on bricks. <laughs> no, I'm not. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> We've separated the door from the body mm -hmm. now we've got our little thing to that, test it yes and stuff so we're going to have to cut away the back the back Pardon? and then surprised to find how thick this front is there's multiple layers and i think if we just there's two little almost like levery kind of things here if we yep. just push them in this thing might just slide out there's another clip there, but I'm not sure whether that's the same thing. I'm just trying to... <laughs> Which way does it move? Okay, it slides that way. That way. Okay, those two are out. Mm -hmm. out. And it comes out. I said so, cut this first, yes. and if it works, then it works. Yep. Oh, so I should grab the board once I've done that. So we're literally cutting away, mm -hmm. if we line that up, the entire... In the grooves. Groove yep. part. What do we do? I don't know. But I haven't known from the whole start. <laughs> you weren't, you weren't we dremeling? No. Thinking more if we drill. How is that going to look? If you drill lots of little holes, it will soften it. Okay. Turn it that way. It's solid. Whereas this has got the legs on the back. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to use a little baby drill bit? Yeah. Well, the smallest one I've got. Just probably not on that small. You have to like drill them just right at the side so you don't drill the actual the thing. Well, they do get really small. Where'd all those go? They break. Ah. I see what you're doing. Kind of cheating. Hmm. I'm, just, I'm worried that this wood's not thick enough. Oh well, we'll crack some pile. So that kind of works. So that bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going around the edge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've... That barely worked. Drilled holes here to hopefully weaken it. We can start off with these boys. Hopefully, run out. Yeah. Yeah. Can we trim it with this? Other option. 
Yeah, let's see what that'll do. That'll also give us a nice cleaner edge. It will, yeah. So we can go around the whole thing with that at the end. My thought is, this is really cool, but weak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. This has much more power. Say that again. Size difference. Yeah. Smaller drill probably work as well. But... Yeah, this is designed to go sideways. Sideways? Yeah. Like that way, whereas that drill bit's just designed to go in oh, and yeah. out. My problem might be actually holding on to it. Drill hammer. High speed. It's carving away. I can't put as much pressure as I want on it because of having to hold it as well. Mm -hmm. Nearly dremeled my finger. Um, Not really working. Oh look, pop it! Leftover from the last project we did together. <laughs> that we didn't film. No. So you had your channel then? No, I didn't. So I was back. We made a cat tree. We did make a cat tree for our adorable cat that you saw in the last part. And this part. Because in this part too. This vice is terribly old and rusty. Yeah, we'll do I did notice that. <laughs> It's really done basically nothing in a long time. Yeah. But I feel like the drum wall itself is working better. Now that I've actually got that piece out of there, I've had another thought. Now that there's enough room for it to fit in the top, I can actually just cut. What about the other drum wall blades that have like little mm. baby rotary cuts? If you think you can see something in there that might work, feel free. Say this is working really well. It is working really well. I'm not gonna even go in with the Dremel itself and just clean up the edges. It's yeah. real well. <laughs> Do we leave it in there to Dremel it? No, I just want to. There's other sides to do. Ah, oh, yes. But the bottom's gonna be even harder. Is it? Oh, because it's curved. Yeah. That's done a reasonably good job though. Yeah, I was going to say, let's test it, see if it fits without the bottom being on the It's up and down. Yeah, so a little bit needs a bit more on this edge. Mm -hmm. That could dremel. Yep. Because the dremel will just away that anyway. Uh, the width is okay, I think. The width is always okay, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I was going to say, we can needs... see both corners of the weird lip. Yeah, okay. So we should be fine once we do the bottom. Yep. Which will be difficult, but you can do it, go dad. Yeah. Hope I went with the slightly narrower yep. leather and to get a better grip. At least I get a nice straight line. Nice. Uh, I might actually swap back out 
because it's not really I don't know am I trying to make it straight or just trying to just smooth, smooth. touch and it really then doesn't matter because the plate's going to cover it anyway yeah but it needs to look cool in my imagination okay so I was going to say you were having fun on that that's true <laughs> I think I'm done I'm sure it still fits <laughs> Yeah, we finished roughly the same time. Where do you think I need to do the same? Um, I don't think it can make my line straight. No. It's a bit loose. That's okay. We can just glue that or something? Glue it or screw it. So, due to the fact that we were absolutely exhausted at the end of recording all of the previous bit that you just saw, the next lot of recording that we did was completely out of focus, which was really annoying. So, you won't actually get to see us soldering and that sort of thing live, but we will explain what we did and show you the final result. We can reenact it. So I'm pretty sure that the first thing we did when we came back in was hot glue, go for the center, hot glue the little panel to the existing tape deck. Yep. Um, so we just hot glued that in on the inside, just globs around the edge. Not sure how permanent that will be, but... If it falls out, we can fix it. Yeah. We were tired and we wanted to make it work. Yeah. We then soldered in and then put heat shrink on the power cables and the audio cables, two sets. So we have the Bluetooth out is using the tape, no, that one, the tape volume, and then the auxiliary throughput for the three and a half mil is using the wireless A microphone. And when we originally sold it and put all these together, we were like, okay, we've got to test it. And we realized that we'd swap those around. <laughs> we'd That's fixed, right. We'd yep. fixed it now. So we actually fixed it by Crossing twisting the, the wires. Oh, yep. Twisting them, yeah. We also um, just plugged them into the wrong things and yes. then forgotten. Um, so then we actually put the whole thing together, which we will do again for you in a sec, and tested it. And the very interesting thing that I found is... We charged it overnight, put it on to play, and it played for 10 hours pretty much straight. Wasn't it 12? I thought you said 12. 10 till 10. You're right. Yeah, it was 12, 12 hours. Pretty said. much 12 hours of straight playback. Not at a particularly high volume because we didn't want to annoy everybody in the household with it. Does volume affect battery? I'm not sure. It's putting more out. So maybe it does. I'm not sure. We can play with that maybe over time. We might do an update video later at some stage. Mm. We will go through, put it all back together and just do a quick demo. Okay, so we've plugged in the power to the head unit and the audio back in. I will believe that it's going to work and put that up. Do you want the powerful one? Yeah. And then put a screw in it because I've already knocked it over once and had the batteries fall out and everything fall to pieces and that was really frustrating. <laughs> and slightly scary. is ready to pack the Bluetooth device is connected us successfully. Lovely Japanese Chinese voice. Okay, so it's not connected to mine. Can you hit connect? I, I did. Oh. Yeah, but it said it was connected. It could be connected to my laptop or my phone. I've been playing it with a few different things while I was testing it and you were out playing netball. Yeah, it says unsuccessful connection unsuccessful. I haven't worked out how to disconnect something. Mm. FM tender. Line in. Block mode. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully.
But all in all, I have to say, it was a success. It works! <laughs> it looks cool too. It does. We will at some stage want to fix the handle Maybe. and put a few more screws in. <laughs> Maybe put some more. There's lots of things that we can play with, but we got it working, which was the main point of it all. The Tech Doctor is here to help you become your own technician. And navigate your technology maze. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of this project. If you want to see more of our videos, you can subscribe somewhere near Lizzie's head or subscribe to our mailing list up here. And there's also some videos you may not have seen before here and here. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. It's done. Fix it and post. I can grip my game now. Okay. Thanks.